for me to come home. It's Holly Fam, Hamish and Tanya. Now, Tanya, you are looking forward to camping this coming weekend, aren't you? I would like you to edit that. You are going <laughs> camping this weekend, Tanya. All right, so the other day we popped into Anaconda, of course, and we picked up the tents and all the stuff that you, uh, the, you will obviously need. Now, one thing that we haven't quite organised yet is what we're going to eat whilst we're out camping. It's something that's quite important. You need to maintain your nourishment, so to speak. So we have uh, one guy who is the king of camping cooking uh, on the line right now. Ranger Nick, how are you? Unreal, Hamish. Top of the morning to the periers. What do what, um, what you want for dinner? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Ranger Nick is going to come in and cook for us so we don't have to cook for ourselves, t Dog. So Brilliant. that's a win. That is definitely a win. Well, what's the normal kind of camping cooking? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, Nick. I've never been camping before. I don't know what's standard. Mate, look, it's as simple as this. Whatever you cook in your kitchen at home, I can cook in that camp oven in the fire. So if you have a favourite dish, if you have a favourite meal, whether it be roast, wet dishes, whichever you choose, bring it on. And we'll whack you up a meal Sunday evening and I might even be kind enough to cook your breakfast the next day. You might have to buy me a beer, though. <laughs> what, for breakfast? Oh, why the heck not? I like your style, Nick. You already uh, convinced me that I like you already. Um, I don't know. I feel like how is it possible to make spaghetti... On a, on a fire. I don't really understand. Oh, come on, give him a challenge. Really? Tanya, you need to get out from under that rock. <laughs> I've heard that a lot this week already. <laughs> I know. I know. I've got a good face for radio too, but you have to meet me to make your own choice about that. Well, you know what? I don't mind what we eat. What, what would you recommend? Well, how about a nice roast and veggies? Oh, sure. Oh, I could do what? What kind of meat? What's your favourite roast meat? I don't mind. Beef, whatever. A beef roast? How about a pecana? I don't know what that is. Neither, neither do I. It's a Brazilian dish, Tanya. There's no hair in it, and you'll find that it's a very succulent piece of meat. Done. Uh, yeah. Sure. You had me at no hair in it, to be honest, which is pretty much what I ask for in every dish that gets cooked <laughs> up, and that's all right. Well, Brazilian is guaranteed. <laughs> hey oh, Wow. All right, and uh, what about for brekkie the next morning? We're going to have a brekkie in a blanket. How's that sound? Okay. All right, does that mean we all just have a... We are in one blanket together eating our wheat picks? Oh, well, we can huddle. <laughs> we might need to. I think it's going to be a cool day, cool morning. Right. Mate, breaking in a blanket is, is um, just something that I use up... Uh, it's just a damper, OK? So it's a damper mix, so you roll it out flat so it makes a blanket. I chuck all my brekkie ingredients into it and bake it in the oven. You end up with... A package I can pretty much break in half over me knee. Here's your piece, and this one's mine. So, like bacon and eggs in the middle, or if you wish, yes, whatever you want. Eggs, freshwater crayfish, whichever you like. But I think we'll stick with bacon, eggs, mushroom, that type of thing. Sounds fantastic, mate. Uh, we're, I can't wait for you to cook up a couple of feasts for us in the camp oven. Uh, we'll see you this weekend. I can't wait, and it's good to get up in the morning in the good old summertime. At four or five or six o'clock and the sun begins to shine. But when the snow is snowing and it's murky overhead, it's good to get up in the morning, but it's better to lay in bed. Have you had a breakfast beer already? Oh, <laughs> I've got to admit I did have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ranger Nick, this is going to be good. We can't wait, mate. We'll catch you shortly. Right, oh, no worries, guys. Look forward to it. We'll see you when the mud's dry, eh? Ricky with Hamish and Tanya on Hot FM. Hamish and Andy. Am I naked? The game.